Hey everybody, TBC here. Well, on Oakwinged, we are now just a couple of weeks away from the launch of the Shadows of Luckland expansion. So I thought what better time to give you a primer on the expansion so you know what to expect. Now, Shadows of Lucklin. Now, whether you call it the Shallows of Lucklin or Lucelin, I prefer Lucklin, was EverQuest's third expansion and it launched way back December the 4th, 2001. I remember the launch quite well. I remember it being so buggy and laggy and it was down for a very, very long time in those first few days and it didn't even launch with the Bazaar, one of the quality of life upgrades at the time. And... It was really an expansion which changed EverQuest. Not only did it take us off Narath to the moon, but it also shrank the world as well, which some people really regard as the end of the classic EverQuest experience. So with Luckling comes plenty of quality of life improvements, such as the Nexus, which is where everybody hangs out. You want to leave your character here and you'll come back and you'll be fully buffed and ready to go. This is where people hang out. We'll also get mounts. So absolute must have for casters because you're always medding because you sat down. And um, pretty much every class should be uh, getting their mount, maybe except bards and you'll be able to get them from the Daybreak store. We also get the Bazaar, which again is the main reason the Common Lands is the dead zone. you can sell without even being online we also get aas a great addition to increase the power of your characters some are better than others some classes get more there's new raids such as this one vex fall go say hi to a ten hurrah and her four arms which are designed for a larger raid force there's also content for smaller raid forces such as this guy the Evolved Burrower, and I'll be sure to bring you a video detailing all the raids that you can do. We also get the Vishia, like it all. Love them, don't use the classic models for them. Beast Lords, ever wanted a tiger? Now you can, shame they got rid of the tr decent troll one. Where does this Zoline to nowhere go? Or where was it meant to go? If you know, let me know in the comments below. We also get new key quests. Yes, yes, yes. There's new key quests after having a break in Velius with only having to get the one item for your sleeper's key. Now we've got some work to do. The good news though, and there is good news, the Vex file key, bane to many, has been made way, way easier. If you remember the old Lucid Shard, um, such as the one you get here in Fungus Growth, we would only drop from the named. Not anymore, they can drop from any mob in here. It's way easier now. And, and that goes for every zone as well. Maiden's Eye used to be another pain point. Well, you can get it from any. And with the loot rules of Oakwind, sometimes you'll get two shards as well. So make sure that you bring a box or ideally a friend as well and get them keyed for Vexed Fall. Another key that you'll definitely need to do, and, and that is the Emperor uh, key. That is another key that you'll definitely need to do is the Emperor key in SSRA. Now, this one is a bit more of a pain. This one still only drops from the two pieces from the commanders, one from the taskmaster, and one from a named in the room before Emp. 
So, you still got a little bit of work to do on this one. This is probably the harder key to get, especially so for the first week of the expansion. And yeah, what you'll need to do with the zone is keep everything down. Uh, any the commanders can spawn in pretty much any spot on the first or second floor. And what the zone, I believe it does, it checks to see if there are any commanders up. If there's not, then the respawn has a small chance of being a commander. Uh, this zone is notoriously difficult to navigate around. It's got these annoying underwater kind of tubes that take between levels. So you're going to have to bring a... Uh, some patience and definitely bring a bard or a rogue because there's plenty of traps around and doors that need picking to open and uh, the traps respawn as well and the respawning instances so you always need to be sending a rogue ahead to get them because they're pretty nasty if memory serves I remember when this song came out like way back in 2001 and I I got really strong Stargate SG-1 vibes from it. I don't know if it was like the kind of Egyptian hieroglyphic kind of things that are on the wall but that definitely seems to be like very much an inspiration for this zone and you know those portals that take you up and down the list kind of look a little bit like the, uh, the Stargate rings. I definitely remember that a very young uh, TBC being completely in awe coming to this zone. But there you go, there's the Arbiter as well who drops one of the pieces. And that can drop from any name and I believe that has a 100% drop rate as well. So yeah, those are the pieces that you'll need to get for the Emperor Key. But you also need the container. And to get the container you come down to the basement and find a taskmaster there you go uh, and he will always drop his pouch and again on this Oakwind server you could get multiple of them which is pretty handy now I kind of like uh, how these key quests kind of come together and certainly the MP because you do get a uh, a very usable item out of it and uh, that is the ring of the shisar and it's actually a ring you'll probably want to wear it's uh it's got decent stance and of course it has the focus effects and the focus effects are in the game as of Lucklin. So all those items that you know, you've been holding on to that had that kind of focus effect uh, that did nothing that now now they do and you know there's some ones that you probably already have sat in the bank maybe or already on your characters such as the supple scale armband which has extended range three all of a sudden that item is really really good to start with until you get the better drops from Lucklin. Uh, certainly on clerics and casters that that range can be a big big help so now you've got your Emperor key and it's time to kill out. But wait, if you're a melee, you're not going to be able to do any damage to him. No, no, no. You also need to get a Bane weapon. Uh, just another thing to add on. And to get a Bane weapon, you need to come over to the Sasara Mines and look for a named skeleton and the named skeletons are the only ones that can and that's the key phrase can drop the uh, the piece we need so you're gonna have to clear through these they're actually really good xp this is a really good place to come uh, as with a lot of these kind of luckling zones that they can be very densely packed so bring some crowd control and be ready to fight several mobs so yeah they don't drop it every time but they can drop the item that we need you combine it with one of the weapons that are pretty commonly dropped within this old i think it's got like the corrupted swords or something along those lines and you take them still within ssra over to uh, the forge now, 
they, I, I kind of get what they were trying to do with uh, with these weapons. It's just annoying more than anything else. And you know, is it really needed? But yeah, you come to this forge and you might think, oh, that's a big forge. That's really good for making weapons. That that's what you click, right? No, no, no. That's that's not what you click. Next to this huge forge is a little tiny forge. <laughs> So it's your bog standard typical trade skill forge. That's what you click. That's where you do your combine and how you make your bane weapons. Of course, if you are a shadow knight, you can forget all that. You don't need to do it. I'm hopeful that you've already done the green mist quest. Because when you look at the green mist, it already has on it Bane of Shisar. Um and so that's what you'll want to be using against against these uh, snake dudes, especially Amp, otherwise you will not be able to hit him. One thing I do like about Luxin is the variety that it brings, not necessarily in the zones. I mean, you look at Kunark, it's very brown. Velius is very icy. And Lachlan is very much black, white and shades of grey. But what I think they did well is a lot of variety in the NPCs. There's a lot of new mobs and a lot of new mob types. We've got the gremlins, the little alien dudes, the Akivans, the like bugs and stuff like that that they've added in. They're all relatively new models. Um, they didn't do an absolute ton of uh, rehashing existing assets, which is what I like. And you can really tell the step up in the graphic quality as well. And even though you know it's 2001, the graphics, right? It does look a lot better. It stands much the test of time much much better than say a uh, zone like solar sec a which is very blocky you know i like the variety that luckling brings and it's also one of the first songs that we see the scripting ability really step up whereas before they used to use like invisible men shouting at each other and to an extent that still goes on um you just don't see it behind uh, in the game when you're playing um you, you look there's a lot more complexity in Lucklin with with this event for example the life and death event that you have to do before you can go to Kadi Shah and this is a very different interesting event than what we've seen um, such as the ring war already I mentioned how some of the A's really made a difference in the game and they did and a huge one is for those of you with water elemental pets is pet hold wow as a mage uh, in the past uh, necro pet hold really is massive no longer does your pet run off at the first hint of aggro uh, not always having to kind of dismiss it before you do a fight so they don't aggro your pet hold is a really really strong tool to enable you to keep your pet out with all its equipment and good stuff longer um, pet glasses your know, it's a must have AA for you. And someone said in a recent video, what do paladins actually do? <laughs> well, paladins, you get a really good uh, ability right now with the DA hammer because it makes you the perfect ramp tank. Uh, this is a hammer that procs uh, DA, so <laughs> makes you invulnerable, which is absolutely fantastic uh, ability and use. It may gives you a really good function on raids, is being the ramp tank. Unfortunately, it drops in probably the worst zone in the game, uh, Greeks and what were the developers thinking when they made this? I, I have no idea. I have no idea what they're going for. It's an awful zone to navigate. It's an awful zone to play in uh, for most players. A lot of people come here because it's something new um, to do farm AAs. I, I, I would rather go to Velks, to be honest. Or I'd even go to Sebelis rather than come here because there's so many doors and corridors um, and the, the mobs are you know, very decently spread out and it's a maze and you've got to remember you, you know, I still have to have the map up I've never learned how to navigate through this zone um, you pull tons of aggro people train through it yeah it, it's just a nightmare of a zone um, 
thankfully you can pick for it as well these days. But Paladins, you'd be looking for this guy who spawns right out on the east of the zone. If he's got the hammer, he's wielding it. Um, a solid group should be able to take him down. Um, two groups for sure, he's not that hard um, to kill. Uh, but if he has the hammer, he will be proccing DA, so it just takes a little bit longer, but he's just a regular kind of tank and spank. So, there you have it. A very high level overview of some of the common elements of Lucklin. There's loads that I didn't go into that I'll be saving for another video. I'd even mention even how you get to Lucklin using the the ports uh every 15 minutes you get a pod up from the wizzy spires it's not all that useful uh find a wizard to send you up there or something way quicker um didn't even talk about say the arx key in seru uh, most people won't need to do it um you only need one per raid but it does lead to a really nice item if you're following that quest and i'll be sure to do a video on that because it's actually pretty pretty fun um, quest line so um that's my velius primer let me know your, down below in the comments what your thoughts are of Lucklin and whether you'll be playing on it on oakwind as ever i want to give a huge thank you to the channel members uh, your support really helps me keep creating content on this fantastic game if you're interested in becoming a member the button is down below also appreciate if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel so that you know when i make more videos and you can be certain there are a lot more to come about Lucklin in the coming weeks ahead having said that I am the Brick Canuck and I hope that you have a fantastic day.